Hey all you button basher fans out there, as you can see in this footage being displayed right before your very eyes, this is the TakeOver running on a Sony PlayStation system. And by the time you see this footage, the game will be up and purchasable on said PlayStation system of your choice, whether that be the uh, PS Quadruple or Quintuple Balling. And best of all, it should be available across the globe. We got your back, Brazil. Wait, 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 wait. Now, I know this took a lot more time than I originally said it would, but that's the thing I've learned about making and releasing video games. It often comes down to a simple issue of timing. The game's been finished for like two years now, but that doesn't mean there still isn't a lot of waiting for all the cards to fall into place. Uh, this port was handled by an outside company, so there wasn't really anything I could do to speed up the process, but regardless, it's done and it's out. The PS4 version is pretty much the same as the original release on Steam, comparable in all features and technical specs. 60 frames per second, 1080p, all that shiny stuff. It obviously runs a bit better and has quicker load times than the Switch port which was released about a year ago, but other than that, all versions are identical. Uh, oh right, before I even go on, for those who have no idea what I'm even talking about, like in, in general, The Takeover is the first game I've ever produced. It was programmed and designed by one guy, Pelican13, while I wrote the story, directed the voice acting, and got a lot of other people on board to contribute. Little V Mills, Richie Branson, Donald Kirby, Takahata101, Kira Bucklin, etc. If you search for The Takeover on my channel, you'll find a number of videos explaining my involvement with the game in greater depth, like behind the scenes stuff, trailers, combo videos, and even a really fun co-op run with Liam. Now, while this is strictly a digital release for now, there will be a physical one for both the PS4 and the Switch, which I personally worked really hard on. Specifically, I designed the instruction booklet, and in it, you'll see my love for color manuals that used to have lots of illustrations and character details on full display. The box art is also going to be quite a looker, as it's a collab between my friend Marin and Genzo Man, but unfortunately since this physical package is being handled by a third party, I have to wait for them to reveal more. Fortunately though, you shouldn't have to wait much longer for those details, which will hopefully be later this month, fingers crossed, or at the very latest in mid-June. Finally, since there was a Steam and Switch release, and obviously now a PS4 one, what about all you Xbots out there? <laughs> I've had a lot of questions from some of you regarding this, and I have good news to share. A port is being worked on as we speak, so it definitely is coming, but like I stated earlier, I'm not going to commit to a specific time frame on this, as this last port is again being worked on by an outside group. And for all zero of you that have been asking for a Stadia version, that is currently a platform we have no plans to support right now, but we are actively researching its viability. Anyway, that's the update for now. Thanks to any and all of you who have supported the game so far, it's, you know, it's been a literal dream to work on a project like this, and I have even more game-related announcements I hope to share with you in the future. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching and keep bashing those buttons.